Somehow Monday, the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P all closed in the green. But that has been a Monday thing lately. I'm Darren, and this is three things you need to know for Tuesday the 10th. Activist investor Nelson Peltz is back and on the attack of Disney. Peltz wants multiple board seats, including one for him. Board nominations begin December 5th. Get ready for the next round of Iger versus Peltz. On Monday, around 4,000 workers at the Mack Trucks facilities in Pennsylvania, Florida, and Maryland join the other UAW strikers in the fight for better pay. Four GM and Stellantis remain on strike. Al Nalam's drug, Onpatro, has been rejected by the FDA due to insufficient evidence of improving the lives of patients. They are working on an updated version targeted to release next year. This drug targeted heart disease. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. Hi, I'm E.J. Williams. Each year, millions of animals are abandoned and more than a million are euthanized before they can be rescued. Organizations like American Humane are working to harness the healing power of the human-animal bond, as animals can be trained as life-saving service and therapy dogs to help veterans, the elderly, and children with special needs to overcome the obstacles of everyday life. To find out how you can help give animals and the people they help a new leash on life, please visit AmericanHumane.org. You down with OBV? What is OBV? Unbalanced volume is a technical indicator that measures the positive and negative flow of volume in trading. It's used to analyze the trading direction and predict the probable direction of near-term price changes. OBV adds volume on days when the price rises and subtracts it on days when the price declines. It's shown as a single line that can provide insights into the intent of market players. Investors can use OBV to make trading decisions and identify where to buy or sell an asset. OBV was originally developed by Joe Granville, and he first explained it in his 1963 book. A couple of limitations of OBV is that it is a leading indicator, meaning that it may produce predictions, but there is little it can say about what has actually happened in terms of the signals it produces, and it's prone to produce false signals. It can therefore be balanced by lagging indicators. Another note of caution in using the OBV is that a large spike in volume on a single day can throw off the indicator for quite a while. A surprise earning announcement, being added or removed from an index, or massive instant institutional block trades can cause the indicator to spike or plummet, but the spike in volume may not be indicative of a trend. I had a pretty normal mom life. Everything was pretty good. And we just had a new baby, and then all of a sudden she's on life support and fighting for her life. They told me my only chance was a heart transplant. And the American Heart Association helped make that possible. Their research helped save me. To learn more about how the American Heart Association is saving lives, go to helpheart.org. And now, the pick of the day. Arbitrage algorithms have signaled a future uptrend for Calavo growers. That's CVGW. Calavo growers market and distribute avocados, prepared avocado products, as well as fresh tomatoes and papayas. The prepared segment includes fresh cut fruits and vegetables, ready to eat sandwiches, wraps, sandwich and snacks, guacamole and salsa. The company is headquartered in California. As of closing on Monday, it was $25.44 a share, 52 week high of $38.97 and a 52 week low of $22.39. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.